two weeks ago, Leah Michelle stepped onto this stage for the first time as Fanny Bryce and received not one, not two, but six standing ovations. Well deserved. She burst into tears as the crowd in these very seats leapt to their feet. And I was lucky enough to be one of them alongside of her mother, her father, her husband and father of her child, and hundreds of fans. Please welcome funny girl, Leah Michelle. I'm crying. How could you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's talk. We've got so much to talk. Is this me? This is you. I think these are from the show. They certainly are. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed. Scott. How was my how was my family with you? Are well, you okay. A funny story. <laughs> um at the end I was crying really hard and I was sniveling, but there was a gentleman behind me who was crying too. Was it my father? It was your father oh I found out. Dad. And I was relieved because he was giving me permission yeah. to feel my feelings only to meet him after right. the show and realize it was your it's father. My dad. I know. My, they, my father was so emotional. He was so nervous to see the show that I he was like, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't sit in the seats. Maybe I should just pace in the back of the theater during the show. <laughs> You're like, that might be good or not. I'm not sure. But I actually, I, I sat at the desk at the top of the show, and I started singing the first few notes of the first song. And I immediately heard my best friend Jonathan hysterically crying. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. I was like, he's going to cry the entire show. So it was, it was really emotional for 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 everyone i think you know i was thinking this morning uh, it's so cheesy but you know we say in the song in the show we sing people who need people are the luckiest people and i and i had my people you know here to see me not only my family my best friend but the support of fans and people who have you know been following me throughout the years and especially the Glee fans. Ryan Murphy was and right Ryan there. And Ryan was there. You know, this is so much of a, a journey for Ryan and I as well. You know, how he brought Funny Girl into people's homes and, and introduced Fanny Bryce to that generation. And now Michael Mayer bringing the show back and introducing it to this generation. It's a show that I love so much, as everyone knows. And I'm just so grateful that it's here on Broadway and, and that the world gets to, to know Funny Girl. When you walked out, you know, it's the night of September 6th, you see the crowd of people. What is the first thing you think when you walk out on that stage? All I kept saying to myself on September 6th was, I'm just so excited as an actor to get to tell this story and to perform and to sing. I haven't performed in a really long time and especially on a stage and there's nothing like it. It's exhilarating. It's like therapy for me. It, it really is. Now, you come out and you're this ingenue who nobody knows yet. Are you thinking, okay, this is a bookend. I'm going to come out here. I have a mission and I'm going to stick that landing in a way <laughs> that's going to be different than anyone expects. And I know I've got a whole mountain to climb to get yeah. there. I've never had the opportunity to play a character like this before that has such a complete and full journey. But the fact that you can take her from beginning, middle to end and end triumphantly, it gives that, that, that strength to go, okay, I've told her story. Now I can sort of breathe and have the energy to then do it again you know, the next night and the next day and the next day. And there's so much of this role that does mirror my life and feels, rings so true to me. And that's why I couldn't have played this part at any other point in my life, at any other phase in my life, because it's the journey and it's the experiences that I'm taking into every word and every step of this. That's it. When they called me that I, that I got this part for, you know, for doing it now, I was 
at a, an Italian restaurant with my father and my son just like literally doing the mom thing, you know, where it's like just kind of trying to rush the dinner to get the baby home, to put him in the bath. And I was like, the food wasn't coming on time. And, and, that, and, and then my phone was ringing and I was like, dad, I was like, you just got to get the baby to eat some of this pasta because we got to get home. We got to put him in the bath. And, uh, and I picked up my phone, it was my, my agents, and they said, you're gonna be Fanny Bryce on Broadway. And I just, I, if I could have fallen to my knees on the side of the street, I would have. And funny enough, one of my dear friends, Gideon, from Spring Awakening, just happened to be passing me on the street and saw me, and he knew, he just instinctually knew that I was getting the call. And he took pictures of me, and he has these pictures of really? me. Just standing on the corner, like, Oh, I was I I was so happy, and I'm here now, and and here now as a mom and a wife, living back in New York, on Broadway playing this role. You know, for me, it just feels this timing was right for me. When you met your husband and you know your child's father, yeah. were you like, this is who I can do this with? I mean, at at first, I was like. I, I, we were friends for, for a while at, at first. We met at our best friend's wedding. He was friends with the groom and I was friends with the bride. And I mean, we that's sitting out of a movie meeting at a wedding. I know, it was very cute. Um, but it's like, I just couldn't see things clearly. It was all about my career. It, you know, I've been so career focused my entire life. Um, I think to a fault, I think that I had, you know, just this, this sense of drive that created a lot of, blind spots for me in my life and then when I met my husband like I said it, it was a real sense of grounding for me and then having our son and 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 experiencing the challenges that we did throughout the pregnancy was something that you know unfortunately created a, a stronger bond in us that I would never wish on anybody but but it but it did and um, but the fact that we were able to sort of get through all of that and, and how it then transformed us into this new life here. And when you're given a great opportunity, as I have been with this, which I'm so incredibly grateful for, as a performer, as a person, uh, I just feel like what I do now with this is on me and how I handle this. And I'm really ready to take all of this on and and do a great show every night, but also have fun with my cast, come home and celebrate with my family, which is something I never did before. And I'm really enjoying being able to open my eyes to everything that's going on around me, because it's all good. And if it's not fun, then why do we do it? I, I think you make such a good point.